everyone, it's me again, Teacher Mel, your grade 6 math tutor. We are now on the first week lesson for the third quarter. In this quarter, we will learn about geometry, focusing on the topic visualizes and describes solid figures. Are you ready to listen? Let us now begin. For today's objective, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to visualize and describe solid figures such as cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using various concrete and pictorial models. Number two, differentiate solid figure from plane figures. Before we go to our main topic, let me introduce to you the meaning of geometry. Geometry is a branch of mathematics that studies the sizes, shapes, position of angles, and dimension of things. Ang geometry ay ang pag-aaral patungkol sa mga sukat, hugis, posisyon ng angulo, mga dimension tulad ng haba, laban at kapat. Alam niyo ba kung saan nagsimula ang mga solid figures? Ito ay nagsimula sa dimension. Ano nga ba ang dimension? Dimension is the length, width, height, or depth of something. Simulan natin ito sa point. Ang point ay nagbibigay ng exact location sa space. Maglagay pa ako ng isang point at extend ko ang unang point papunta sa pangalawang point. Ano ang nabuo? Tama! Nakabuo tayo ng line. Ang line ay isang dimension na tinatawag na length or 1D kung tawagin. Kapag ang dalawang line ay nag-extend natin katulad nito, ano kaya ang nabuo? Tama! Ito ay nakakabuo ng plane figure o two-dimensional na merong length at width. Tatawagin natin 2D or plane figure. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin kung ano ang mangyayari kapag extend natin ang isang plane figure tulad nito. Ano ang nabuo? Opo, nakabuo tayo ng 3-dimensional figure na may length, width, at height. At tatawagin natin itong solid figure, spatial figure, or 3D object. Let us have a review of the shape or plane figure. So the shapes or plane figure shapes does not have any thickness and can be measured in only two phases, the length and the width. Let us have an example. Can you identify the following plane figures? What to the shape is this? Very good. It is a square. What about this figure? Correct. It is a triangle. Next, we have, very good, it is a parallelogram. What about this? Correct, it's a circle. What about this one? Very good, it is a rectangle. And what about this figure? Correct, it is a trapezoid. Let us now compare the plane figure to the solid figure. What will happen if we extend the square with the same length? What do we have? Yes, if we extend the square of the same size, we can form a three-dimensional object, what we call the cube. What dimension is added? Yes, meron na siyang thickness or height. So what is the difference between the plane figure and the solid figure? Plane figure is a two-dimensional shape while the solid figure is the three-dimensional shape. So, buko naman natin ang triangle. If we extend the triangle, it becomes a three-dimensional object called prism. What kind of prism is this? It is a triangular prism. Let us have another plane figure, the rectangle. What do you think will 
happen if we extend the rectangle? Yes, it will also become a prism. What kind of prism? It is a rectangular prism. What about the circle? What will happen if we extend the circle? Yes, it will transform into a cylinder. Let us talk about the parts of the solid figure. We have the faces. Faces is the flat surface of the solid figure. Let us count how many faces does the rectangular prism have. We have the front and the back view, the top and the bottom view, the right side and the left side view. How many faces are there? Yes, we have. Next, we have the edge or the edges in plural form. Edges are the line segment joining two or more vertices. Let us count the number of edges by faces. In front, we have one, two, three, four. And at the back, also, we have five. 6, 7, 8. We also have at the right side 9, 10, 11, 12. So total we have 12 edges. Next is the vertex or the vertices in plural form. Vertex is a corner or a point where lines meet. Let us count the number of vertices we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 vertices are there in a rectangular prism. Let us move on to the types of the solid figure. We have the polyhedron and the non-polyhedron. Let us identify the figure under the polyhedron and the non-polyhedron. Can you tell me the name of its figure? For the polyhedron, we have this figure. What is this? Very good. It's a cube. Let's try another one. It's under the non-polyhedron. What do you call this figure? Correct. It's a cylinder. What about this figure? Correct. It is a rectangular prism. Let's try another one. We have very good. What is this? It's a cone. And we have another one. A square pyramid. And the last one is now based on the presentation. Can you tell me the difference between the polyhedron and non-polyhedron? Yes, polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape with flat polygonal faces, straight edges, and sharp corner or faces. While the non-polyhedron are the three-dimensional shapes, their sides are not polygons, and they have curved Let us talk about the different types of polyhedron. Let us begin with cube. Cube is one of the simplest shapes in three-dimensional space. All the six faces of a cube are squares. Let us count the number of faces does the cube have. We have the top and the bottom view, the front and the back view, and we also have the right side for a total of six faces. And then, let us move on to the edges of the cube. Let us count how many edges on the front view. We have one, two, three, four. For the back view, we have five, six, seven, eight. And on the side, 
9, 10. And on the left side, 11, 12. A total of 12. What about the vertices? So for the vertices, we also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A total of 8. Another kind of prism is a triangular prism. Triangular prism is a polyhedron made up of two triangular bases and a three rectangular sides. This is the net of the triangular prism. Net is a flat shape that can be folded up into a three-dimensional solid figure. Look at the net. How many faces does it have? Yes, we have five. We have one. Two, three, four. How many edges does a triangular prism have? Let us now count the number of edges. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have a total of nine edges. What about the vertices? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a total of 6. So this is an example. Another type of polyhedron is a pyramid. A pyramid is a polyhedron that has a polygonal base and all the lateral faces are triangles. Ito ang lateral faces. All the lateral faces are triangles. Ito naman ang base. Ito ay square. Kaya tatawa. A square pyramid is a polyhedron with a square base and all the faces are on triangles. This is an example of the net of a square pyramid. Can you tell me how many faces does a square pyramid have? We have 1 for the base and 4 for the lateral faces. We have 4, which are all triangles. What about the edges? How many edges does it have? four on the base and we also have four on the lateral faces. That's why it has a total of eight. What about the vertices? We also have four on the base and one on the edges. That's why you have a total of five. So this is is an example. Let us proceed to the rectangular pyramid. A rectangular pyramid is a polygon that has a rectangular base and all the lateral faces are all triangles. It has five faces, one rectangular base, and four triangular faces. It has also eight edges and five Another kind of pyramid is a triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid is a polyhedron for which the base is a triangle and all the lateral faces are all triangles. This is the net of the triangular pyramid. It has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. This is an example of the triangular pyramid. Let us now discuss the non-polyhedron game shape. Their sides are not polygon and they have curved surfaces. Let's start with cylinder. Cylinder is a three-dimensional figure shape with two round shapes at either end and two parallel sides connecting to the round edge. This is the net of the cylinder. Can you tell me how many faces does a cylinder have? Yes, it has three faces. What about the edges? We 
we also have two circular edges and there is no vertices. Drag the next non-polyhedron 3D shape is the cone. Cone is a 3D shape with a circular base and one continuous curved surface that tapers to a point called apex. Apex is directly above the center of the circular base. This is an example of the net of the cone. Can you tell me how many faces that it has? Yes, we have two circular faces. What about the edges? We only have one circular edge and a vertex. This signage is an example. A three-dimensional object is shaped like a ball. Every point on the surface is the same distance from the center. This 3D shape is called the sphere. This is the net of the sphere. It has one circular face, no edges, and no vertices. A soccer ball is an example of the Now, here are the things that you learned today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on my next video lesson. This is Teacher Mel saying, Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding. Bye!